We are interested in a, developing novel and new methods for better analysis of glycoproteins and glycans itself, but also asking the question of how can we exploit this knowledge in terms of better understanding of, for example, diseases, or also how better understanding on the function of glycoproteins. We in glycobiology would like to know what type of sugars are attached to which protein, on which particular part of the protein. So with this new method, we essentially get the maximum of information on the composition of the glycans attached to a peptide, as well as the identity of the peptide, which provides us with the most information on where the which protein is in which way glycosylated. One part that we exploited in that context using synthetic and glycopeptides was to identify the optimum fragmentation conditions for these particular type of compounds. It turned out that they're actually quite uh, narrow, especially for the peptide part, and by optimizing these parameters we also helped to get much better data which supported the bioinformatics in the background afterwards to essentially make sense out of the data. So with that approach we were actually able to easily identify glycopeptides in a complex sample in an automated workflow, which so far is possible but still comparably time consuming. So with this method in hand we have now a lot of opportunities to look at the function of glycans on glycoproteins. So far we know from a couple of glycoproteins very well that single glycans can make a huge functional difference. With now with this method in hand we have the way of systematically mine the glycoproteome in a way that provides us the, uh, with the opportunity to ask real biological questions in the protein specific context. What we are trying to answer is essentially what role, what functional role do glycans play on glycoproteins. Mm. For that one crucial element is to have this data available how proteins or major glycoproteins in our body are glycosylated. So what I would like to see from the next generation of instruments would be the combination of alternative fragmentation techniques such like ETD, um, ECC or whatever, um, because uh, especially for all glycosylated peptides or also peptides where we cannot really that easily predict which sites are going to be modified, this is going to be important to really figure out where these type of modifications are sitting that we essentially identify by the stepping method.